Hello friends, welcome to WebTech School. In today's lesson, we are going to look at how to delete a node and link list without a head pointer. The answer to the problem statement would be, we should remove this node 6 and we should give the output as 8, 5, 7 and 7 should point to null. So in case to the ever problem, if the given node is 5, we should return 8, 6, 7, null. Okay. So now let's take another example. Let's say another example what we have is, let's say 4, 4 points to 5, 5 points to 1, 1 points to 9 and 9 points to let's say null. Okay. And we have to delete the node 5 so we get this reference so our answer should be 4 1 9 9 should point to null so let's see how we can do this we have a reference to node 6 and we want to delete node 6 okay so if we remove the node 6 then what will be our final list our final list should be 8 should point to 5 and 5 should point to 7 and 7 should point to null okay what we can do is so let's say this is our node which we have access to 8 should point to 5 so what we'll do is instead of replacing the entire node let's first replace the given nodes data to its next nodes value so what we just said we are saying we will replace node dot data with node dot next dot data node dot next dot data so how our list will be so now our list will be 8 then 8 should point to 5 and 5 will also point to 5 and then it will point to 7 and 7 will point to null okay now we have the reference to this node this nodes next element currently points to 5 but we want 5 should point to 7 so how we can access 7 so we can do something like node dot next equal to node dot next dot next so what we did node dot next is equal to node dot next dot next so now our list would be 8 points to 5 and 5 points to 7 and 7 points to null which will be your answer okay now let's implement this we'll use the same list operation class let's create the method so public static list node delete without head pointer and we will pass specific node to it which node to be deleted I'll say node what we want to do if node is equal to equal to null that means the list is empty so what we are gonna do we are gonna simply return we are not gonna do anything if it is the last element in that case also we are not going to delete so i can say if the node dot next is equal to equal to null so that means this is the last element in that case also we are going to return then we are going to copy the next data to this nodes 
data value so we'll do node dot next dot data after this we want to change the reference as well so we'll say node dot next is equal to node dot next dot next okay so that's all we want so now let's execute this i'll go to the program.cs which node we want to delete let's say we want to delete node 6 so i'll capture this list node node to be deleted so equal to so that is at head dot next so this is our head head dot next we are deleting so we'll simply call list operation dot delete without head pointer and we'll pass our node which we want to delete okay let's fix this okay so once it is deleted let's display our list one more time so i'm gonna display this and let's add a, a console statement just to differentiate the link list after deletion okay let's run our code and i'll add a breakpoint over here before the reverse operation let's run it okay let's open the command line and see so if you look at the link list before was 8657 and we sent six node to be deleted and the finally after deletion what we got is 857 and that is the delete operation without the head pointer i will push this code to github and you will find the link in the description please subscribe to support us and thanks for watching